and it's just fin again and today on four sense solutions we are going to talk about creating multiple users on a single computer or desktop so basically creating multiple users is just that um, you are going to have different people and they are going to put their workspace in sandboxes so with the sandboxes whatever they do in their workspace doesn't affect the next person so whatever changes they make as in changing their wallpaper putting uh, new applications in there and then the rest is not going to affect the person who is on the next side of it so there are so many ways of doing that we have uh, how to do it through the command prompt we have the computer management we have going through the start button and we even have going through the control panel so we are going to just start with the computer management and then we move from you right click on the start button then you click on computer management when it pops up you click on the arrow that leads to the local users and then the groups then you click on users this shows you the users that have been created that is the users that are on the computer at the moment to create a new user you right click on users then click on new user so i'm going to do this and then give the user name as maxwell and then the full name is going to be maxwell peter okay you can add a description if you want so over here i'm putting in the password and then i click on create when i click on create and then close this interface it pops up here so this is what we are having this is the user we just created let's hop right on to the other ways of creating the user account you click on the start button then you click on the current user so you can see they have popped up here so you can just click on any of the users here and then it will log in to their account but let's get to know how to do it from this side before we attempt to log in so you click on change account settings it's going to bring you to this interface this is the current user now and over here you can see a local account because the sign in wasn't done with a microsoft account that is why you can see over here as a local account so you click on family and then other users you can even see over here the account that we created from the computer management is reflecting here but let's let's keep going so you click on add someone else to this pc and this interface pops up this is the interface that pops up anytime you are going to create a microsoft account so it's going to ask you to enter the person's microsoft account and you might probably not have the account so i'm going to do i don't have this person signing information it's going to load a little for some time when this pops up it's giving you the chance to create an account for the individual but we are just going to make it a local account so we click on add a user without a microsoft account and then it keeps loading again so you just enter the individual's name and then password and so on over here so let's just say um i'm going to input this name here and then and try entering a password even though i'm not going to press enter to create it i already have so many accounts in here so um over here in the security session this is a question that you'll be asked anytime you mistakenly lose your password but <laughs> don't don't really try with this questions you don't have to just beat your mind don't don't you in as much as don't try to give um don't hit your head with those questions just just go cool with it you might not even have like they could ask you what's your first pet's name you could just put anything there don't really give um typical answers to these questions so when you click on next after inputting all these then the account is going to be created so
so that is what is going to happen on this side so now let's just hop right on to um how to switch from the current account to the new user account to do that you click on the start button and then click on this user when you do that it's going to show you the current users as i said before so i just want to log into peter maxwell so i just click on the account and then it starts so these are the current accounts here you can even choose them from this side so you just enter peter maxwell's password and then press enter okay so since i entered the ad, um, password it's telling me that i'm supposed to change the password before entering so i'm going to enter a new password just so that you being the administrator or the person who created the account you will not be able to have access to the person's account when he or she is not around that is just what it means so now it gives you the hi and then we are getting everything ready for you all this is just it just looks like you have installed a new operating system then it shows you this privacy settings i'm going to accept all here okay i accept everything and then it gives you this just like you have now installed a new operating system so this is your own workspace that's your user's workspace isn't this beautiful you can do so much with a single comp so after this interface has popped up now you can actually decide on having easy access to some of the folders and then programs that you think are, you are going to be using them frequently so now let's just um, try to add some icons here and to do that we click on the start button we click on settings and then we click on personalization and then themes so after i click on themes we have over here desktop icon settings you click on it and then it's going to show you the desktop icons that you can actually use over here i just want to turn on everything so that you know how it really works okay so we apply and then okay let's go back and then see the changes are okay now this is it so you you see we have increased the number of icons here you could untick any of them and then it goes away so now let's try to um, know how to pin some of the programs on the tax bar just for easy access sake so that you wouldn't have to be going around and around looking for the same things and all that so you click on the start button and then these are your programs so let's just say i like using the calculator so much so i just want to pin it to my tax bar so i can access it anytime i want to access it so you right click on the calculator you go to more and then pin to taskbar and now this is it you can do same to the microsoft office you go to more then you pin it on taskbar just like that just so that you wouldn't have to be going around and around looking for the same things over and over and over again so just for the plus you know where when you open file explorer it's going to show you some of the folders that is with whatever you download it's been categorized right so whatever download you do goes to the downloads and then you can sort it out from there it's just as simple as it can be so um let's just try this just for the plus we are going to try and then know how to create a user account from the command prompt that is those of us who are tired of doing the clicking clicking and then we want to do something new with the command instead so now um, adding a user through the command prompt is is as easy as just a single line and then adding it to a to be an administrator is just as simple as 
a single line. So you see, with the other accounts that we created, they are not administrators. So therefore, you cannot, they cannot do any administrative work. That is, make major changes to the whole system. All they can do is just to do their own thing somewhere. But they can't effect any major changes all over the computer. So uh, we are back to the administrator's um, account. That is the administrator's platform. This is it. And then we are going to add another account through the command prompts from this side. Okay, so to do that, let's just use the Windows arrow key and then get to run. Or let's just search the command prompt. Okay, and then we run it as an administrator because it's only an administrator who will be able to add a user. So you run as administrator and then you do this. And then this is the command, net user add. And then you enter the user's name. Over here, I'm doing clever. And then you add the password. And then press enter. So when you click on enter, it just gives you the command completed successfully. So let's just do this. Let's just make clever an administrator. Just so that when, when we are not there, we can also make certain changes. So uh, net local group administrators and then we add Claver's name here and then we do this and then add so now it is successful let's just go and then confirm if whatever we did was really true so we click on the start button and then over here we click this okay Claver has been added let's just make sure that he's really an administrator as we just did so we change account settings then when this pops up you click on family and then order you see so you see the difference between these two accounts and then Claver's account Claver is an administrator yet a local account since we didn't sign in through a microsoft account or using a microsoft account so this is how beautiful it is it's just that beautiful I'm very happy we learned something today. I'm just hoping you also learned something because I learned something new doing this with you. And then thank you very much for paying attention. I'm just hoping to get your requests and then any problem that you are facing will be right here to solve it with you. Thank you again and have a nice day.